that has already begun and has been going on. But anyway, let me make this effort to share some of my thoughts with you on this occasion. I've been specifically asked by both the governor and the GLT coordinator to speak about your responsibilities. I think you had some very similar topic at the multiple district training program. But anyway, let me quickly look at the whole thing from my point of view. Instead of giving you a long speech, I just would like to tell you that you have these six responsibilities. And if you remember these six responsibilities, perhaps all that you need to do as the president of your club is done. I'll quickly read them out for you, or maybe you also can read them along with me. Learning is the first one. Presiding over meetings is perhaps the second one. Appointing committees is the third one. Being active on the district governor's advisory committee is the fourth one. Setting service and growth goals, goals for your year is the fifth one. And actioning your goals, putting goals into action is the last one. I think you have read them along with me. These perhaps you already know. Maybe I've made some small changes to what the international manual tells you. Learning perhaps I've ordered at the top and other things are slightly altered and they are the same that you have been told many, many, many times in the past in other responsibilities that you have and also after you chose to be a president of your club. Okay, so let's, what I'm going to do is I have the next six slides. Each slide will detail each one of the points that I'm going to make. So uh, before I move on to the next slide, if you are ready, to take up your responsibilities with all sincerity, with all passion that's possible and putting all your energies into it and trying to make one of the best years in the history of your club in the district. And if you are ready, just to suggest that you are ready, just to type in the chat box, there is a chat box there. You can just type, I am ready. If you type that, that gives me energy and we can move on. Just type, I am ready. If that's a very long sentence, you can just say ready. R-E-A-D-Y, just that word also is enough. So there is a chat box. You can locate that. It's not very difficult for you. In that, I don't still see any uh, answers coming. Uh, I think they've just begun coming, I think. Yes. Yes. I think one or two answers have begun. Maybe a few more presidents. If other presidents respond, I'll be very happy. Oh, there's a killer here. I don't know who that is. So there is a killer president. He had said, I am ready. And at least four or five others. Presidents, all that you need to do is go to the chat box, open the chat box. There is a chat box at the bottom and Open that and type ready or I am ready to indicate that you are really ready for your year. 11 are done, sir. Oh, very good. I think YVM ready also has done. Some others have done. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll move on from here. And as I told you already, we have just six slides and each slide is going to describe one of your responsibilities in detail. What is the first one? Learning. So presidents do have to learn. Every president, for that matter, every lion in whatever position you are, wherever you are, right? Starting from the newest member in the organization, right up to the senior most, even past international directors, past international presidents, continue learning. So learning is an eternal process. There is no end to that. But there are some specific things that we need to learn when we assume responsibilities. So I'm not talking about all learning today. I'm talking about what you need to learn as the president of your club. But if you want to learn, I'm not going to teach you instead of becoming a teacher today. What I'll do is I'll tell you how you can learn, where you can learn, what are the resources that you have to learn and what are some very useful tools that you can use to learn. The first thing every one of you must take a look at is the club constitution. If your club has a constitution of its own, 
in case you have not seen it please take a look at it in detail spend some time going through the pages and if possible reading every page of it by any chance if your club has not yet adopted a constitution of its own i requested hari darshan to share the constitution copy with you in the chat box he will share it with you you can directly download it while you are watching me as you are seeing me you can go to the chat box and there is that handlet uh, that um, leave that booklet and you can download that and you can read it later so if your club does not have an already adopted constitution the standard form constitution works for you in fact one of the best things that you can do is right at the first board meeting and the general body meeting you can make whatever changes you need to the standard form and adopt it for your club so that begins learning begins there every president must know the constitution number 2 I asked Hari Darshan also to share with you the e manual for the club presidents and vice presidents. So this manual also I have sent to Hari, and Hari has already put it on the chat box, and you can download it from there before you leave today, before this webinar is over. So the link is there. You can click that link, and you can take that home, or you can keep it on your desktop. In case you can keep it a printed form of that, that will be still better. so the first thing that you have access to is your club constitution there are other constitutions also but the club constitution is the minimum that you need to read then there is the e manual then the third most important very rich and very precious resource every single lion member whether you are a president or not has access to is lions learning center can anybody quickly tell me where is this lions learning center where is it located can anybody type in the chat box in which city is it lions learning center in which country is it located does anybody know or maybe you are taking time to think and write but in the meanwhile let me disclose the very very wonderful secret the secret is the lions learning center is not located in any city or country or place it is located right on your desktop right in your mobile phone all that you need to do is go to www.lionsclubs.org log in to your account and there is an opportunity for you to go to the learn a place called learn and in that there is a lions learning center the lions learning center is a very rich resource of almost everything that you need to learn as a lion every course is beautifully designed and i am sure every one of you will enjoy learning going through those modules beautifully built then there are lots of different kinds of institutes to which you can go starting from your own local district level institutes to the international level institutes the lions clubs international and also your district perhaps your regions everybody organizes lots of different levels of institutes and whenever you get an opportunity please don't miss them attend them because they are excellent opportunities to learn and the last thing there is a local training opportunity that also you can watch when you go to your website lionsclubs.org website in case there are any local trainings happening you can learn them through that and also your glt coordinator luckily you have a very active glt coordinator this year hari i know i have known him for some time and he is really very active i am sure he will help you and he will organize lots of different institutes this year this is the first one maybe this is the first one for you and i'm sure there are going to be lots of other institutes like this keep learning so the five things that i have listed on the screen are some sources of learning utilize every opportunity if you don't learn you miss a great opportunity to be a great president right use every opportunity to learn let's move on the second thing i told you is presiding over meetings your club conducts how many different kinds of meetings does your club conduct 
Does anybody know how many different kinds of meetings do you hold? You hold general body meetings, yes. You hold board meetings, and sometimes committees hold meetings. Sometimes some special kind of meetings, specially called meetings, happen. And within general body meetings, club meetings, which are called club meetings, club meetings, you have speaker meetings, you have entertainment meetings, you have business meetings, all kinds of meetings. All these meetings are going to be presided by you. I'll not explain too much detail about that. All that I would like to tell you is presiding is not, underline not, presiding is not sitting in the chair. Just because you're the president of the club or you are presiding over a meeting, yes sir, I am sitting in the most central chair, the highest chair, the best chair, and I am presiding. No. Presiding is knowing, doing lots of things. It's a wonderful opportunity again. What is presiding? Presiding is designing the meeting, informing about the meeting to members, communicating, right? And it starts when the meeting begins. And when the meeting begins, you must know where to sit down, how to sit down, what to do, what not to do, how to take control of the meeting, how to stop somebody. Hello? Can you hear me? Hari, can you hear me? Yes, you're audible. Uh, I am removing this. There is a problem. Okay. Uh, so the third thing is knowing how to sit down. Knowing how to call the meeting to order, how to adjourn, how to stop somebody from talking, how to encourage somebody to speak, how to take into account some dissension in the club, how to take a vote, how to pass a resolution, right? how to take decisions, how to take members along. All this is presiding. Presiding is not just sitting in a chair. Presiding is a hundred other things and doing them very effectively. Okay, so for instance, I'll give you one simple example. Many presidents sit in the presidential chair and when the meeting needs to be called to order, they do something like this. For instance, they sit down and just tuck like this, they strike the gong and they think the meeting is called. No, there is a suggested way of doing that. For instance, you are expected to stand up. Okay, and then make an announcement of what this meeting is. The first general body meeting of Lions Club of Hyderabad Cosmo is called to order after saying the complete sentence clearly, distinctly, loudly, audibly. Then you have to strike the gong and say the meeting has begun. So if you swallow the words, if you don't say it very clearly, or if you strike the gong and sit down, I think it's not very good. So you must learn that. So presiding is very, very responsible. You might have seen speakers in assemblies in the Lok Sabha, in Rajya Sabha, see what kind of power they command and how difficult it is to preside. It's a very tough job, right? So please do that. Please learn the art of presiding over a meeting and bring a good reputation to yourself build the image of your club. When somebody comes to your club, people say, oh, that club conducts its meetings really well. He knows how to organize a meeting. Right? He knows too how to take control of the club meeting. Right? You have to need all these things. You have to give a notice and then prepare the agenda in time. Ensure that proper facilities are taken care of. Of course, these days, lots of meetings are happening online. But when we resume physical meetings, I mean, these facilities need to be taken care of and absolutely carefully, thoroughly, you have to follow the parliamentary procedures and you have to, whatever courtesies are necessary, guess members who are right, you have to show them the right courtesies. And after the meeting is over, you have to acknowledge, not only after the meeting, even during the meeting sometimes, somebody contributes something saying, starting from simple things like thank you, appreciating, recognizing all these are part of your presiding over a meeting. So preside over all meetings and preside them well, right? Do it a great job, right? Then the third point that I told you is appointing committees. Okay, I have a simple question for you. Why do we appoint committees? Any answers quick? 
Okay, in the meanwhile, uh, Hari, can you please help me launch the first poll for them? I have a poll for you. Please, you can, you can choose the best answer that you have on the screen. I I'm cannot launch, see. Yeah, please. I'm launching it. Sir. Yes, thank you. Uh, Hari, you also, yeah, yes. The first question is club meeting attendance declines, it goes down because of these reasons. Reason number one, lengthy and boring meetings and inconvenient meeting location. Members are not reminded again. Members are not involved for all the whole reasons. So you can click any one of the answers, whichever you think is the right answer. Why does attendance at your club or any club decline? Why do you not get the kind of members that you expect, that you want. Thank you very much. Uh, Hari, you can uh, stop the poll. Right. So uh, almost 71% of you said that all the above are correct. I agree with them. I agree with the 71% people who said that all these are reasons. Hari, you can close the poll, poll please. Please end the poll. Yeah. So uh, what I wanted to tell you is that you need to take care of all those things which are listed above to ensure that right uh, attendance is good. One of the things that you need to keep in mind is appoint proper committees to do that. There should be a committee to ensure that there is good attendance at the meetings. There is an attendance committee. So they remind them if somebody has not come to take care of them, perhaps they make a personal call the next day, etc. It's like that. There are lots of committees. There are standing committees and there are regular committees. So committees meet and they assist you. Your responsibilities can be shared with them and you can delegate some of your responsibilities so that you become a more successful president. Committees, I mean, just, I mean, some, in some clubs, they just remain on paper. But if you know how to take work from people and how to involve them, I'm sure it will be a great job done during your Please appoint appropriate committees by identifying the right people, giving them the right responsibilities, getting the things done from them, and most importantly, appreciating them and recognizing them. Okay. The next thing that I don't need to tell you, maybe your treasurer, your secretary, you already know. So the district governor has an advisory committee. This is often called the zone meeting. The zone chairman convenes it, the president, the secretary, and the first vice president, and in many, many places, this, including the treasurer, also are invited to this committee. And it meets at least three times in a year. Please go. Don't just go and meet and come back, but give some good suggestions there. Take some good tips from there. Learn from each other. Share your good practices and maybe align with other clubs, do some training activities or whatever. So this is an opportunity for you to begin knowing people from outside your club. Do that. That is about the advisory committee. And the last one, of course, is setting your goals. So goals relate to your service activities, your um, communication, uh, the membership growth that you would like to achieve during your year the leadership programs that you would like to offer to your members, fundraising programs, right? You must do at least one good fundraising program for your service activities during the year and all multi-dimensional development of your club. So set good goals for your club and setting goals is only the first step. Remember, many people think, sir, I've set goals. Done. No. Once you've set the goals, you've begun your journey. It's like packing your luggage. You're not gone anywhere. You are still at home. Only your luggage is packed. That's all. But you know where you, maybe your ticket is bought. Where you want to go, you buy the ticket and the ticket is at home on your hand and you are at home. The journey has not begun. So goals are only buying the ticket. But if you want to go somewhere, the journey has to begin. How do you do that? So after you have set goals, you have to prepare some action plan. So if you want to go somewhere, you not only buy the ticket, but you plan how many days you're going to be there, what are you going to do, etc. Like that, during these 365 days as president, what are you going to do? His goal, 
and how you are going to do that is your action plan and whatever skills you need to achieve that you need to build your skills and most important last two are the most important what are the last two the last two are begin acting on them it's not just a plan it's not just a piece of paper it's not just something that you have in your mind or shared with somebody but it is beginning to act right that's where your success begins so begin acting and also in case there are some small failures in case there are small problems don't leave don't lose heart don't give up persist continue so this is realizing the goal and that's where i'll stop for today uh, i have a small assignment for you and do it at home after going home so list five things that you will claim as your success as your presidential success in your validity address imagine next june 30th maybe you will lay down your office some other person will become president at that time when the next president is going to be installed into office right you will be there and most likely you will give your closing address last speech that you will make in the capacity of club president what will you say that day will you say oh this has been a wonderful year we have made such big achievements or will you say i am sorry i could not do much that speech you write today itself what are five things that will claim these are the five things that i have done and my club has done it's with your support we have done and we are all very happy about them so what five things you would like to claim as your successes right at that time 2021 june 30th prepare that speech and perhaps read that speech every day through the year and let that remind you that in case you have to make those claims at the end of the year you have to begin working now i wish you all the best thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity that has been given to me maybe in case you have any questions you can either post them in the question box or maybe you can ask them in any other form later thank